We just used AI to change our voice into anyone. I'm Joe Biden and I approve this message. No, Joe, I approve this message because this is the best tutorial ever. Bibs, I get it, I get it. This is the best tutorial ever. But thank you, next. In this video, we're gonna show you not one, not two, but three different methods on how you can generate voice using AI. This will be your ultimate guide to AI voice generation. Whether you wanna change your voice into someone else's, or you wanna create a voice from scratch, or maybe you don't even wanna talk, you just wanna generate voice based off a text. We're gonna show you some of the most compelling use cases of AI voice generation. For instance, in our Egyptian documentary, we had to transform my voice into a female one. And experience it for yourself. Even me. I'm just a metahuman created solely to present this to you. And it worked. Or maybe in your case, you're creating an online course or a commercial ad that requires voiceovers. Now, before we get started, let's talk about the types of AI voice generation that we're covering today. We're covering two, and that is text-to-speech and speech to speech. Text to speech is when you don't have any voice actors. You wanna type in what you like to hear and it turns that into a voice. Now speech to speech is for when you have voice actors and you actually care about the intonation and pauses. And that's when you give in the audio sample and it transforms it into somebody else's voice. And if you stay until the end, you will also learn how to create the most realistic song covers in any language. Let's begin with text to speech. Now there are numerous websites out there that do text to speech, but we're gonna share with you the best one we found that we personally used ourselves. We are talking about 11 labs. When you head over to the website, you will see three options. One, select a template voice from their library. Two, design a new voice from scratch. Or three, clone a voice from an audio sample. Choosing a voice from their library is really easy to use. There are tons of voices and you can filter them based on many parameters, such as age, gender, accent, character, and etc. You should listen to a few sample audio first, and when you find the one, just click on Add to Voice Lab. In the Voice Lab, type in your script and click Generate. Remember, you can always play with voice setting parameters to make some adjustment. And yes, I'm using Eleven Labs voice now. If you do decide to design a voice from scratch, choose voice design, select your voice parameters like gender, age, accent, accent strength, and then type your script and click generate. But when we used Eleven Labs, we didn't want to use their library or generate a new voice. We wanted to clone a voice. What we actually did was clone Mr. Beast voice as a challenge and try to order KFC. And guess what? It actually worked. I can't believe that actually worked. I can't believe Check it, it out. I'm gonna help you. Hi there. Um, I'm Faraz and I'd like to order some food for delivery, please. Sure, absolutely. Uh, what's your best seller? And do you have any combo sets with uh, burger and chicken tenders? Thank you very much, guys. You did it. Apparently, AI could order food for us. To clone a voice, you need to gather audio samples. Here are some tips on how to gather audio samples from our generated voices. The audio quality is more important than the length of the audio. About one to two minutes of clear audio without any background noise seems to be the sweet spot. A slower speaking voice with clear pronunciation seems to give better and more natural results. AI model will try to replicate the performance of the voice you provide. If you talk, in a slow, monotone voice without much emotion. That is what the AI will mimic. We also found out the best source for audio samples are podcasts, because the guy is sitting in front of a very good mic and there is no background music. Now we must say, if you're cloning someone else's voice, you better have their permission. No, I wasn't meant to wink. I like literally get their permission. Just God damn my face, something's wrong with my face today. For speech to speech, we've got two different tools for you today. The first one being a website called resemble.ai. Now this website is extremely user friendly. It's as simple as you putting in your voice input, selecting from one of their numerous templates, and voila, you got your voice. The second one is RVC. It does require you to install some packages, which ultimately makes it more complex, but it is the most flexible. Plus the model is optimized for song cover. So if you've heard any AI voice generated song cover like Drake, it's probably RBC. So Resemble.ai, 
To show you guys how easy it is to use it, we are going to change our voice to one of their templates. Check, check. check. Perfect. They have a marketplace of ready-to-use AI voices that you can choose as your target voice. They can be filtered based on category, gender, and accent. When you find one, just click Add and try it out. On the right panel, choose Effects, come to Insert, and click on Speech to Speech, and then upload your recorded voice in WAB format. Then click Play or Generate All to hear your own voice transform. Can I have my voice back? <clears throat> now. The final method was introduced to us by our good friend, James Defina. So shout out to him. If you waited up until this point of the video, you either love us or you want to hear about RVC. And RVC stands for Retrieval Based Voice Conversion. That's a mouthful, I know. Now this is essentially a software that uses deep neural networks to understand and learn about the nuances, intonation, and speaking style of your voice. And then it creates a whole new vocal track that sounds like the original speaker. It is also most commonly used for song covers that come in different styles, genres, and languages. So with RVC, there are two methods. You can either train your own model or use the pre-trained voices in their library. We are gonna teach you both. Here is how you can train your own custom model. And don't worry, it's easy and I'm gonna walk you right through it. Step one, you need to gather audio samples from your target speaker. A data set of 10 to 15 minutes is recommended, but to be honest, we got decent results from two to 10 minutes data sets as well. All right, at this point, you should make sure that all of your audio sample files are in a separate folder and they should be in WAV format. Step two, download the RVC files from GitHub. We put the link in the description for you guys to take it. Step three, you need a software like 7-Zip or Breezip to unzip and extract the RVC files. Step four, go and find the go-web.bat file within the RVC folder and run that bad boy. This is gonna open a Windows command prompt and launch the RVC interface. It might take a little while, so be patient. Step five, go to the train tab. No, no, not that train, the, uh, that was lame. Now that the lame guy is over there, we're gonna go through all the columns one by one. First, enter a name for your target voice model. Then, leave target sample rate at 40K. Technically speaking, higher sample rate is better for audio, but everybody told us leave it at 40K and we found out that it has the best results, so stick to that. In the third column, you must set it to true if you're training to sing a song. If this is just a speech, it doesn't really matter. Choose the latest version, which is V2 in our case, at the time of this recording. Next, we're gonna go and select the number of CPU processes used for pitch extraction. This number really depends on your PC specs, but 14 seems to be a good baseline. Now in step 2A, you need to tell RVC where your audio sample files are located. So go to the folder in which you stored all of them, copy the folder path, and paste it there. Click process data and wait for the process to complete. Ensure that it says, great success. <laughs> great success. Why did you have to bring Borat into this? Now in step 2B, you need to select the pitch extraction algorithm. There are several options here. PM is fast and good for high quality speech. Harvest has better quality than PM, but it is slower. And RMVPE has the best effect and consumes less GPU and CPU. Okay, I'm confused. These were all the instructions we found on the website. It kind of doesn't make sense, but Harvest seems to be giving us the best result. So if your computer can handle it, go for Harvest. Now there's also Dio, which says speed up. I don't even understand it. It's a little confusing, honestly, these descriptions. So I really recommend that you try them out for yourself and see what gives you the best result. Click feature extraction and wait for it to complete as well. It should also display great success. Now in step three, you need to configure your training settings. These values really depend on your computer specs and your desired outcome quality. Let's start with the most important, which is total training epochs. Now what are epochs? Well, one complete epoch in machine learning means one complete pass of the training data set through the algorithm. If your audio quality is high, you can go up to 200 epochs to get the best results, but that's gonna take more time. You're probably saying, Faraz, what if my audio quality is poor. Well, then 20 to 30 epochs will do just fine. It's gonna be sufficient. And the reason for that is because the epochs don't magically increase the quality of your audio. 
Next up, we've got the save frequency. Now this really depends on your preference. You can select it based on the number of epochs you're training. For example, for our 200 epochs, I would probably save every 50 epochs. Now next up, we've got batch size. And this really depends on your GPU and how it can handle multiple processes at the same time. If you're not sure, just keep it at the default of four. If you want to save some disk space, click yes on the fourth column so that only the latest file is saved. You can go ahead and keep the rest as default and click one click training and wait for it to finish. At this point, you need to just be patient. Sit back, relax, grab a popcorn, maybe make some pancakes, I don't know. If you're on a diet, have a protein shake for all I care. Just wait it out until you see this message. Final checkpoint success. That means it's completed. All right, now some of you guys might have hit a road bump and error in the command window. No problem, just go to their FAQ if you've got any questions. Step number six, go to the model inference tab. This is where we're gonna receive the results from our training data. And then click on refresh, voice list, and index path. From the inferencing voice dropdown, select your trained model. And now for the transpose box. This is where you decide if the output voice is going to be a male voice or a female voice. So first you need to understand that males, like myself, masculine males have a lower pitched voice like this. And females have a higher pitched voice like this. So if you're not changing the input and output, that means if you're going from male to male, you can keep this at a value of zero. If you're going from female to female, you can keep it at a zero. But if you're going from male to female, that means you're going from a lower pitch to a higher pitch, and that means you need to add a number 12, so plus 12, and that changes it by one octave. But if you're going from female to male, that's going from a higher pitch to a lower pitch, so that is a minus 12 that you need to put in this box. Now we need to tell RVC where our target audio file is located. This is the file that you wanted to change in the first place. That main audio file that we're gonna use on a song, your social media, for an ad, whatever. Locate it and paste it in this box. For the pitch extraction algorithm again, but this time for your output audio. Now there's an extra choice and option here, which is called CREP. And based on some YouTube videos and our own results, we found it to be the best, but you can go ahead and read all the description, try them out and see what gives you the best result. Next up, we're going to select the log file from the auto detect index path dropdown. Now at this point, I really wouldn't go ahead and touch the other parameters, but if you're feeling curious, you can go ahead and read the description and play around with them and see if you can get any other result. Once you're done, go ahead and click convert and wait for the process to complete. When you see the word success, it means that your converted voice file is ready to use and that you can go ahead and download it and enjoy it. You're freaking welcome, this was long. We should give a shout out to Jared for his in-depth tutorials on YouTube. If you guys are interested to know more about RBC and use other methods like Google Collab, make sure you check him out. Now that you learn how to train your own voice model, you might be saying, I don't have time or I don't know how to gather samples. We told you that there are two different sources that you can go to and find thousands of ready-made AI voices. You can have the voice of Ariana Grande or Beyonce for free. First up, go to one of the links in the description. Download the vocal models and place them in the weights folder within the RVC folder. To make it easier to select models within the interface, you can organize them in the logs folder. For example, create a new folder each time you download a file and move the index file to that folder. Lastly, back in the RBC web UI, click on refresh voice list and index path, and you should be able to find the new artist that you've just added. And then you repeat the same process as we just explained. We did it, brother. We did it. It was good. That was hard. We did it. After a very long time. We taught these noobs how to use voice AI. You're welcome. Now you can go ahead and join our course. For $599, we're gonna teach you how to use AI in your life. But guys, there you have it. We covered all the bases. Text to speech, speech to speech, speech website. Speech to text, text to your pay, videos, free, videos trial to photos, version. AI. No excuse now. You can use AI voice now in 
in your school project, in your work, commercial ads. Let us know if you guys know any other methods or any other tools that you have tried and gave you the best result. Yeah. We would love to try it. And if you guys have any ideas of what sort of tutorials we should do next, let us know in the comments. We always read them unless they're about his hair or our accent or about my face. If it's those, we're not we going to respond. We care, yeah. We do though, kind of, yeah, sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> One last thing before we go. Subscribe. Subscribe. Let's go.